Liam, another decent point on the road. What was your take on it? Um, yeah, when I look at the game overall, I thought, look, uh, Boreham Wood kept the ball and, and passed it around. But if you look at chances on the day, I, I, like you, I just said off camera to yourself, then I can't really recall Simon, Simon, Simon making many uh, crucial saves. Uh, I think first half, if anyone should have gone in front, if you're looking at chance, well, it should have been us. I mean, their keepers made a great save off um, Tommy up front. And, you know, F's had half a chance. What, you know, on another day, he'll do better. He was brilliant on the uh, the weekend. I thought he grafted hard against today, Mason. And, I, you know, on, on another day, he would have took that chance and got himself a goal. Talk to me about that defensive display because with the physical presence of Matt Reed, the top scorer in Kabongo Shimanga, you had plenty of work to do, but I thought you did an excellent job. Yeah, look, look we weren't sure if, if Reed was going to play. We, we kind of spoke before the game that he'd be the, uh, the, the same two that started the weekend, Tishimanga and, and Marsh. But uh, in the back of my head, I did think we were being, me and Preston are quite dominant in the air. I did think that that would use him today, and they did. And look, he, he's always going to win the odd, the odd header. That, that's what he's, he's been around and done for years. But look, overall, again, I mean, I mean Tishimanga tried to get off, the, off his flicks, and I thought we nullified him. I don't really think they've hurt us in any, any way today. Matt Preston alongside you. It's been great to have him back in the team. Just talk to us about playing alongside him. Yeah, look, Prez is obviously, he's no idiot. He's, he's, been, he's been in the game. He's had, he's had a good career. Uh, I think it, it's hard. When, obviously, when, when we was on the run we was on and, and people are getting through in and, and Prezzy, you know, he hadn't played for a long time. You can see today, I thought he was brilliant today. Again, uh, some of the, the tackles, the way he reads the game, I thought he was outstanding. And I think he's only going to get better because he's just getting into his stride now and look I'm enjoying playing with him it's like we, we, the partnership's getting stronger and stronger by the game we've got a good, uh, good understanding you know he likes to play a bit higher than what I do but I think we found that balance where at the minute and you, you're watching yourself our team's getting in behind us you know are they are they tearing us apart now so I think at the minute so far so good what has changed in the last three games I remember the last couple of away games ago I was stood with Harry, who was desolate after Wildstone away, we've really seen to be turned turned a corner. What do you put it down to? I, I think, look, we've made two great signings, in my opinion. I think the two young lads, look, they're, they're young boys, but they've come in and they've been brilliant. Uh, you know, the gaffer, the gaffer obviously acted quick because he knew that we uh, that we were light in certain areas. Um, Beard, he's been brilliant. Gives you balance there, knows what he's doing. He, he's never going to go kamikaze down the wing. He knows when to go. When he knows, uh, to me, he's got a holder, older head on his on his shoulders than, than what he is. Uh, Skeffy midfield, just energy. What I think we've needed for a long time. I think, you know, I think another big decision. What the gaffer's got right is putting Femis in. I think he's been superb the last three games. He's he's that that body what me and Prezi need when. Uh, when you go, you know, you're having a bit of a tough time. He can come and screen. He can go and head the ball. And I think tactically, you know, we're a lot more switched on now. Uh, the gaffer's been brilliant when he's come in. He, he's coming. He, he's, he's made it simple. He hasn't asked us to go out there doing anything stupid. Do you know what I mean? He, he's coming. He wants us to work hard, which I think he's got a response. I think the boys are putting in a lot more of a shift week in week out, and he wants us to go and play for the badge. And, and at the minute, you know, look, it's three games, but three games where we've kept two clean sheets and it should have been three clean sheets really when you take the goal out from the other day so it's a step in the right direction just lastly i'm worried they're gonna potentially turn the lights out yeah, yeah. on us are this team enjoying playing their football again in some ways because it seems to be a team that looks like they're enjoying themselves well, well look at the end of the day three games ago you, if you would have asked me that i'm sure players would have been saying i just can't wait for the season to end because Let's be honest, it wasn't fun for anyone, for, for managers, players, fans, it, it was no fun. But we've just had a chat after the game there and uh, at the minute we don't want the season to end. We're picking up a bit of momentum and let's start looking at the other teams now who have to play us. Maybe it's time they start going, oh, we're in for a game now instead of, oh, we're going to go and we're going to go and batter Barnet this week. At least now we're showing a bit of resilience and we're here to fight for the, fight for the club.